Nike. I got an issue right now, right? Why is this pair of shoes on sale? Why did the Nike stock crash or whatever? Biggest loss ever. I'll talk about it today. Like and subscribe, check me out on all social media platforms. Let's hop into the review or this little discussion panel that we have in the day. In front of me, you can see this is the Orc Air Jordan 1 High, Retro High, OG High, High G, or whatever 95 words they want to put on the box. This is a quality, very nice Air Jordan 1 High. I don't know if you know the sneaker market, but if you do, ones usually go 180 bucks unless they're a collab, they might be 200. But I paid 90 bucks for this. Shafiq, how'd you do that? Put me on game. Jordan Brand's been coming out with so many shoes, let alone ones, with similar color blocking that these dropped in January and then they got on sale. Why? Because we have had so many ones that you've oversaturated in the market. You're not coming out with anything per se new. You're just coming out with something revamped and usually with bad quality control and people got tired of it. You've done it to yourself, which in the buyer's market, if this gets on sale, I'm fine with it. But what's been really happening is a sneaker head man may only want the collab hype stuff. You decided to take some shoes off of mom and pops and regular stores and say that the sneakers app or Nike app would be the main component on how you win shoes from y'all, Nike and Jordan brand that is. But people like me, at least the size 13 and most of the pairs that I have, we haven't been able to hit anything on that app. So something's wrong there. And so after you hit a bunch of L's and you're begging a company to take your, your bread, that's what we've been doing. Please take my 225 every Saturday or whatever. They start to look at New Balance. They start to look at Adidas. They start to look at On. They start to look at Hoka. You've done it to yourself. You claim you don't care about resellers or StockX and eBay and all that. But when you're supply and, supply and demand is so tight that someone feels like they've won the lottery just to, win a, just to buy a pair of your sneakers. And when they don't, they're frustrated and it ruins their whole Saturday. People get tired of that. Instead of me getting eight shoes, instead of me being mad that I missed out on eight shoes, eight shoes, 200 bucks, $1,600, go plan a vacation. Meanwhile, I can walk into Full Locker and get half the miles that I want, not all of them, because like a collab with New Balance or something is harder to get, about as hard as to get as a Nike, you know? About as hard as to get as a Nike. I said that wrong twice. So, but I can walk into Full Locker and get a pair of 1906 New Balances right now, or A6 Gel Lights or something, Cayano's. I can't, I, I, I typically can't do that for most of these shoes, at least in my size, but especially I can't do it for the rarer ones. So like I said, if one person's only gravitating towards the ones with the story like a SB or a hype shoe like a, a Lady May or a Nina Chanel or a Travis or something, and you don't allow me to get it, I'll just get tired of you. And so I really think I got some work I need to do, quite frankly. Or you retro a phone posit, a lot of people don't care about phone posits, but they know that a certain size can be lucrative. You make that supply and demand for that size very small, minuscule. I can't hit. It gets on a sneak StockX or eBay or GOAT or Stadium goods for 500 bucks. And now I no longer want it because one, a phone positive costs 240 bucks. And you tell me to pay double for a shoe that most people don't want. Doesn't really make sense. It's not adding up. If you stopped raising your MSRP, there might be more wiggle room for the resale market for me to go back and get it after I miss out on your app. But that's still not likely depending on what the shoe is because when you do oversaturate a pair of shoes or over launch or overpopulate a pair of shoes, then the quality control suffers. So plenty of people are going other places because better quality control, more readily available, accessible, cheaper. And like I said, I think I got work. You can't keep, telling me that the shoe's fire because it's a collab and therefore you charge more and then I still can't get because I am a testament I'm on record saying I've tried some shoes 20 different stores and I and, and somehow those one of those 20 different stores won't allow me to spin my bread you gotta do something because if not you're gonna lose them you know you might not lose me but even I move a, a little different I'm like hey if I don't hit on to the next and I'm, I'm, a, I'm by far a Jordan Nike head by heart, but there's definitely more New Balances here than there's ever been in here. So, you know, I don't think you see one behind me, but I got three right here. So keep doing what you want. You got to fix it sooner or later. If all these foams coming out in the next two years and Aqua 8s and stuff like that, 
If I don't hit for retail, that might just be another New Balance. You can't get mad at me that I tried to buy your shoes and you won't allow me to spend my bread. That's your fault. Also, you know, y'all gotta be more strategic on a, some pairs are only for women. Just make extended sizes for everyone so the kids can rock the same thing as the men and men can rock the same thing as the women. Because then you give a woman a nice collab and the man can't get it and he gets salty and he goes elsewhere. Or you give the man a nice basketball shoe and the girls can't wear it, the women can't wear it, and then they're mad and then they go elsewhere. So when like lines are blurred or whatever it is, just make extended, just make sizes for everybody. You, you're kind of missing the, I, I don't know. Also, I know, I know you know, you got the numbers. Every time I see a sneaker drop nowadays, size eight to 11 sitting. But 12 and 13 sell out. Or 4 and a half and 5 sell out. You might need to start making more 4 and a half 5s and 12s and 13s and 14s. What's the point if the real sneaker heads or the basketball heads or the, the cool kids want a pair of shoes and you cut them at the knees because you strangle whole supply and demand but an 8, 9, and 10 sit on your app for 10 months. And to their own sale. And to their own finish line for 90 bucks. So, I just came to chop it up. Y'all let me know your opinions on why this is happening outside of, like I said, I understand inflation for food, housing, vacations, retirement. But I think it's more so they just haven't been creative enough or their prices are going up and the quality hasn't coincided with that. So y'all let me know, just came to chop it up. I'm glad I got these for 90 bucks, but you wasn't catching me copping them for 180. It didn't happen. So yeah, so the next video I'm gonna holler at y'all. Look out, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cop some steals and talk to y'all about it. Bye bye. Let me know if you would go back and get these for $90. If this is a yes at 90, but a no at 180. Bye bye. Cause it was the me. And if the orc sixes pop up the same way, the ones with the Carmine color blocking, which is one of the shoes I have in my picture on IG, my, one of my favorite color sixes of all time, but just yellow. If that pops up on sale 50 off, I'm copping too. Then I'll have two shoes for the price of one. But thank you, if that's how you wanna run business, then you do you. I just I just look at New Balances right here. Bodega New Balance, Made in America New Balance. I got a pair of Adidas shoes. I haven't bought a pair of Adidas shoes in years. Just saying.